Right, okay, here we go again, session seven. Um, right, so we're carrying on with algebra in session seven. We're going to solve some linear equations and fractions in a minute, which is chapter two. And then we're going to move over a bit to chapter three. So it's a little bit of a strange order, but the, the skill of sketching linear graphs is so crucial. Uh, I think we need to do that before we do some of the other stuff. So that's the plan for today. Um, right, let's get straight in. Okay, so we're going to start with the solving solving uh, linear equations with fractions. This is in the chapter two section. And I'm going to go straight in with an example. So how would you solve this for x? Okay, so you might be faced with this. And again, the top tip here, top tip, um, is eliminate or multiply the whole thing until no fractions. This is going to help you big time with lots of things in algebra. So tip, top tip there, multiply everything until you eliminate the fractions. So in this case, you can do it all in one go, but I quite like to do it in stages because I find I'm less likely to make a mistake if I do that. I'm going to times the whole thing by six. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because the first term there will now become x plus two. Second term, remember, I've got to times that by six as well, 18. And the third term, if I times that by six, I remember I just get six x over five. I just multiply the, um, the top. Now, I've still got a fraction here, so I'm now going to times the whole thing by five. Every term by five, five x plus 10 plus 80 times five, which is 90, and that times five is just six x. Right now, I can group it a bit together, five x plus 100 equals six x. If I minus five x from both sides, I get 100 equals x, and just tidy it up again, x equals 100. And that is the best way to answer those questions. Multiply everything until you've got no uh, fractions left, and then solve, it becomes much easier to solve. Right, just pause the video at this point. I want you to do page 39, exercise 2e. I want you to do questions 2 to 8, but just the even. So there's four questions there for you to have a go at um, and take your time on those. And we've only got one more section after this on this video. Okay. So once you've done the top bit, we're moving on actually to a bit of chapter 3. But we're going to come back, we're going to sort of jump in and out of chapter 2 and 3 over the next few videos. Um, but this one here is sketching linear graphs or functions. Means the same thing, really. Uh, sketching linear functions, really, really crucial skill. And I'm going to give you four examples here. Um, so type one, all of these are just involve a sketch. So you don't need to do a big table of values and have it all to scale. This is just showing key information. And the first one you should be able to sketch y equals minus 2 or something like that. Now y equals minus 2, all the y coordinates are minus 2, so it is a horizontal line passing through y is minus 2. Every coordinate on that point is going to be negative 2. So they're the first types, easy ones, just horizontal lines. It would be vertical if it was x equals something. Right, next type, I want you to sketch now this sort of equation. Okay, so it's in the form y equals mx plus c. We know it's a linear graph. There's no squares in there. There's nothing funny. It's just a single variable in x, single variable in y. To draw a straight line, we really need to just work out two points. And the, the two key points are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. If we can work out where it crosses both, both axes, we've done it. Now, the x-intercept is when y equals 0. Okay, so when y equals 0, I solve a mini equation. 0 equals 3x minus 2. If I solve this mini equation, I get 3x equals 2. X, therefore, x is going to be um, 2 thirds. And I can just put that straight in here. 2 thirds, that's where it crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. This is often really easy to find out when it's in this form. So y equals 3 times 0 minus 2, y equals minus 2. Some of you may have noticed that anyway, 
because um, you've seen it's the plus C bit on my equals plus C. Now I've got the two points. Again, it doesn't have to be mega to scale. I should use a ruler though, but that is pretty good for a sketch. It's got the key information is where it crosses the Y and the X axis. Okay, two more types of sketching. So again, this is going to be a linear graph. It's going to be X plus 3Y minus 9 equals 0. Again, it's going to, this is a linear graph. It's just written in a different format to the previous one. Works exactly the same way. X intercept, let's work out the X intercept first, is when Y equals 0. So if I put Y equals 0 in here, I get X, that becomes 0, minus 9 equals 0, X equals 9. If I draw a graph while I'm doing this. So the X intercept here, 9. And finally, when so the y intercept, this is when x equals 0. When x equals 0, I get 3y minus 9 equals 0, because the x disappears. I get 3y equals 9, y equals 3. So it's going to cross 3 here. And there, that would be my straight line. It passes through those two points. Okay, so the key for these, always work out the x intercept, always work out the y intercept. And the final question, or you do some practice, x over 3, it looks a bit more complicated this one, but it's still a straight line because there's only one variable, it's no squares in there, there's no funny things, it's just one x, one y, so I know it's going to be a linear graph. Again, this takes us back to the previous part of the exercise, let's get rid of the fractions, so let's times it all by 3, x minus, I'm allowed to do that, as long as I multiply the whole thing, I'm not changing the equation at all. Times it all by 2 now, 2x minus 3y minus 6 equals 0. And now I answer in the same way as before. So I need to get an x-intercept and a y-intercept. Uh, so if I do the x-intercept first, this is when y equals 0. So I've got 2x, that goes equals 0. Solving a mini equation here, 2x equals 6, x equals 3. So my x-intercept is 3. And the y-intercept, when x is 0 this time, x equals 0. So I've got minus 3y minus 6 equals 0. Solve a mini equation, minus 6 equals 3y. y equals negative 2 this time. So negative 2, roughly there. It doesn't have to be super to scale. And I just draw a line, straight line between the two. And good practice to label the line. So let's label it back with the original equals zero. And that is how you quickly can sketch linear graphs, which is an incredibly useful skill. I know a lot of you will be thinking of going on to A-level maths and further maths. This is a really useful and crucial skill for that. So page 55 this time, please. Questions two to nine, first and last part of the question, of each question. And that is the end of session seven. So well done today. Tune in next week for session eight.